Montreal. That totally unique Canadian city that has that East Coast flair with the European twist. Festive and French speaking, Montreal feels at times very familiar and yet completely foreign. Now don't get me wrong, for most of the year, the weather in Quebec is rough. But there's a small window during the summer months when the sun peaks out, the snow melts, and the fun begins. Summertime means festival season in Montreal, and we along with all the Montrealers enjoyed it to the fullest. Welcome to Abroad with the Burrells, a channel for travelers by travelers. I'm Coleman, your host for this video. This is Jamie, and that's Brooklyn. Montreal is a dope city, but to properly tell the story of our experience there, we have to first go back to 2016. 2016 marked my first ever visit to Montreal. I was there with my brother and good friend, getting some much needed R&R from a work-laden summer. We wanted to discover this city that we'd heard was amazing, but is also low-key flying beneath most people's radar. My friend had some homies there that he'd met a few years prior. We all connected, and soon his homies became our homies. The trip was too dope. In fact, I returned in 2019 when I surprised Jamie and Brooklyn with a trip to Quebec City, just north of Montreal, on recommendation from our Montreal people. Needless to say, we loved it. We have a video covering the whole thing. If you haven't seen it, we recommend you watch it. We spent the week in Quebec City, and on our last day, we drove down to reconnect with our folks in Montreal. This was Jamie's first visit to Montreal, and she was immediately smitten. In fact, she berated me for not booking more time there. Um, honey, why aren't we staying here longer? Brooklyn, tell daddy we should stay longer. Tell daddy we should stay longer. Upon our return home, the next three years were spent constantly talking about Montreal and planning a trip back so that, quote, we could finish what we started, unquote. And so enter the summer of 2022. Summertime is the time to be in Montreal. We were welcomed by the generosity of our dear friend Alex, who not only received us with warmth and open arms, but offered us her charming apartment in a lovely neighborhood situated in a prime time downtown location. We just arrived in Montreal. Our gracious host, Alex, host slash friend, is allowing us to stay at her adorable apartment. We are just so happy with it. Washer and dryer. Bathroom. Love it. Toilet. Toilet. <laughs> Living room. Don't mind the bags, but decorated. So cute. I love all the plants. The little car. Wow. Thank you, Alex. So cute. Wonderful. Kitchen. Kitchen. Mm. Down here. It's great. A little sitting area. I love that balcony. I know. I, love, love. I just love it. And then this adorable little garden out here. Wow. So cute. Look at this gorgeous little garden back here. It cannot be overstated how extremely grateful and humbled we are by her incredible hospitality. Alex's place served as the perfect launch pad to take in the many festivals and explore the city. We're out and about, a fresh day of exploring, headed to um, St. Cat, maybe to do some shopping, Fail du shopping, and uh, a bite to eat. And cafe latte. Of course. It's a lovely day in a lovely neighborhood in Montreal or as they say, Montreal. Yeah, just excited about everything that the city has to offer. It's quite charming. 
And you'll notice one of the strengths of this town is there's just a lot of uh, pedestrian friendly streets yeah. lined throughout downtown. But what's interesting is that in the winter months when it's really cold, people aren't walking as much, so, or they're not, you know, out for leisure as much. And so those pedestrian friendly streets turn back into roads that cars can drive down. Exactly. Some of our favorite streets to stroll were St. Catherine, of course, Rue Saint Denis, Mont Royal Avenue, St. Laurent Boulevard, and of course, the lovely stroll through Chinatown. Filled with great eats, bustling crowds, live music, and various cultures, these streets stimulated the senses to the fullest. So we've arrived at St. Cat's. Like Coleman mentioned, we're gonna be doing some shopping. Brooklyn, you wanna go shopping? Yeah. It's a very, very long street. Lots of options. Wish us luck that we don't do too much damage. Yeah. Or maybe the damage will be done anyway. <laughs> yeah. These are Brooklyn's two babies, Nikki and Betty. And uh, they go everywhere with her on vacation. And now she's pushing them. She's the mom now. Well, she was pushing them until I pulled out the uh, camera and now she wants to vlog. Wanna vlog? You forgot all about your, I thought you were pushing your babies. I wanna vlog. Oh, the babies don't, they don't count anymore? No. <laughs> no. Still shopping. Plenty of great spots down this street. It's a long one. More stories than you know what to do with. Well, that concludes the shopping for the day. Not too much damage. Not too much. But some nice goodies to go home with. Yep. We kept it conservative. If we're not careful, we can do some real damage. Yellow, orange. Can we do it? Nice. Pink and green. Good. Yellow, green. And light pink and dark pink. Yep. Big jump. Woo! All right, this is the uh, Montreal Complètement Self. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is awesome. It's an outdoor circus. It's great for families, for kids. There's a ton to do for the kids out here. Live music. Uh, it's just amazing. Summertime in Montreal pops. There's no other way to it's play it. It's almost 8 o'clock at night, too. It's almost 8, 8 p.m. It just, it's crazy out here. This part of town is gorgeous, and our great friend this has Alex. This my favorite street. Yes. Saint Denis. She's Saint brought Denis. us. She's brought us Saint here. Saint Denis. My bad. She corrected our accent. My oh, bad. she was just a snobby French person right now. Oh my God. Saint Denis. Saint Denis. You're right. It is on many of these same streets and adjacent parks where one can stumble upon any of the myriad festivals in progress during the summer. Nearly every week, the parks and streets are hosting public festivals for any comers to walk up to and partake. Cirque du Soleil, which originated in a small town in Quebec, holds free live performances right on the street. I couldn't believe it. Top quality performers out in the open air for everyone to enjoy. I mean, leave a tip, of course like 10 15 at night and they're just about to start another show so. can, you, can you believe it they just they keep going and what a treat this for this one going, so. right they just did an acrobat show down the street over there
hungry after all the festivities? We'll hop on over to Chinatown and grab a bite to eat, or maybe do some more exploring. But don't stay too long. You've got to get back out there because there's more festivals for you to enjoy. We are headed to the Nui Dafik, which is an African festival. And today is day one of that festival. So we look forward to seeing what it's all about. We hear it's really, really good. And uh, we'll see what the vibes feel like when we get there. The festival. Oh, what's going on, ladies? Okay. How are you guys? <laughs> Milan. Yes. Yes. This is Alex's friend that we just met. So the vibe is awesome under the bridge. It's Quebec. Special guest on the channel, Soph is back in the building. It's been like three years. You guys may not remember, we met her a long time ago. I'll put a flashback clip in there. That's the daddy because she's preggy. <laughs> Sophie's sister, hello. Welcome, welcome. Everybody. Old friends and new. And then look at that hot stuff right there. Hotness. <laughs> and how could we leave out the biggest festival of all, the Jazz Festival that ran all week and ended with the best surprise ever, a free performance in the park by the legendary Roots crew. Our first half of the trip in Montreal was incredibly fun. The lively streets, fun festivals, good food, and good people made for an unforgettable experience. But we were just getting started. Ahead of us was more great cuisine, adventures outside of the city center. This is one for the box. Oh my Sorry. gosh. A trademark Montreal late night snack what are you eating? This is poutine. It's a, it's, a, it's a Quebec special late night snack. Fries, gravy, cheese, cheese curds. That's it. Historical landmarks and our absolute favorite part of the entire city. You would think that you've just stepped into Europe. Yes. Yeah. Stay tuned as we complete our exciting journey through a city that isn't even on most people's radar. Montreal and all of its summer madness. <laughs> 